In this exercise, we're still classifying triangles, but as you can see, we're missing some information. For the missing angle, what we need to realize is that this A to C and continuing onward is a straight line. It makes this angle that we're missing plus this angle that we have a linear pair. With a linear pair, the degrees always equals 180 degrees. Think of it this way. If you're looking in one direction and someone tells you to turn 180 degrees, you're looking in the opposite direction on the same line. So in this case, we know that 180 degrees minus 100 equals 80 degrees. That makes this an acute triangle. All angles are less than 90 degrees. Moving on to example B, we actually have three angles. Same concept applies. Add up 48 plus 42 and you're, you have 90 degrees. That makes this automatically a right triangle. You might be saying to yourself, well, wait a minute, that doesn't look like a right triangle. The angle is small. That is a classic trick that geometry teachers like to pull. You have to do the math. Don't go with what you see. What we also see are these little arrows. What that means is that this line and this line, if we continued it on in, every, in either direction, they will never touch. They're parallel lines. With parallel lines, we can use something called the alternate interior angle rule. That means that if this angle is 42 degrees, then the opposite on the inside will be 42 degrees. That also means this angle being 48 degrees means this angle is 48 degrees. And when you add all of those up, you get to 180 degrees.